if you want to submit to one journal, let's say you, st you, you work for three, four years on some project and it's very nice data and the story is beautiful and you want to try submitting it to one of these big journals, right? And then eventually it gets rejected for whatever reason. You want to submit it to the other one. You have to reformat everything in case of like text and pictures to submit it somewhere else, and which is also very, very... So I have an insider secret for you. You don't need to do that, actually. <laughs> okay. Most of the time. We, we can talk <laughs> off, <laughs> off uh, screen. No, I mean, I remember when I was a PhD student and I would like, read the, the author guidelines that it was the gospel and, and you know trying to get the length exactly and the presentation and actually for a first submission to a journal before it's even reviewed they don't care mm. they will ask you to change everything if they want the paper after revision mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so so you know you, of course you don't you don't send a paper that is three times the length that that that, that is published in that particular journal but if you have a, a bit above or you know the the the, the figures have a little a's instead of capital a you know that that doesn't matter <laughs> yeah. you know you will change that if you are revising it and then you see it and the journal wants it they will bother you don't worry when when it, you are much later in the process so that everything is like they want because their goal is that you do as much of the work they should do yourself mm -hmm. so, so 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 they will they will ask you to do it but you usually and a lot of journals now actually state that very plainly like First submission, send us a, uh, just a PDF, uh, whatever formatting you want, and then you know later mm -hmm. on if we really want it, we will tell us to 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 make it exactly to the format. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so that's that's something. And the other thing is that you have now new schemes like review comments, uh, which I think are very interesting. Like you are. Well, you are decoupling the review from the journal. So I don't know if you're familiar, but review comments is a is operated by uh, Embo uh, Press. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and the idea is that you publish your preprint and then you send it to review comments and they arrange the reviewing by three reviewers exactly like a journal. But there's no journal at this step. Mm -hmm. Like it's just you, they are reviewing the science and saying this is good, this is bad. I think for to be an exceptional work, you should really do this and this and this and this mm -hmm. and this. And once you have the reviews, and you make a, a review, uh, uh, you make a plan for revision, and then you submit to one of the journals of the Review Common Consortium. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like uh, there are, I think, 28 now, and uh, and mostly uh, uh, the most famous ones are, bi uh, are, are cell biology journals, like Journal of Cell Biology or Embo Journal. But basically you submit your paper, the reviews, and your revision plan, and the editor within 10 days tells you, okay, if you do this revision mm -hmm. plan as, as you state, we will consider it as a revised manuscript. So mm -hmm. basically, we will consider accepting it after sending it back to the original reviewers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, and and 10 days there, and the editor say, no, we are not interested. You can go to another journal of the consortium, and it's only 10 days. So you can really quickly find a journal that is really interested. And the other advantage is that the reviews are not about the fit or the, mm -hmm. or the level of the journal, because when the reviewers are, are reviewing, they don't know where mm -hmm, you will mm -hmm, submit 